In this video, I am going to evaluate this definite integral using Fundamental Theorem of Calculus Part 2. Uh, just a reminder, a Fundamental Theorem of Calculus tells you if f is continuous, continuous on some interval a comma b, okay, then integral a to b f of x dx is equal to uppercase f of b minus uppercase f f of a now this uppercase f is the antiderivative of f that there is to say f prime is equal to f in our case our function x to the power 4 plus x cube is definitely continuous on the interval negative 1 to 2 so we just need to find the antiderivative of x to the power 4 plus x cube okay so the antiderivative of it is going to be x to the power 5 over 5 plus x to the power 4 over 4. Now, that's my f of x, okay? f of x. Uh, you can check it. Take the derivative of uppercase f of x and you will get x to the power 4 plus x cubed. Now, I need to evaluate this at... Um, at uh, negative 1 and 2. So this is to say the integral negative 1 to 2 x to the power 4 plus x cube dx is going to be equal to x to the power 5 over 5 plus x to the power 4 over 4. This thing evaluated from negative 1 to 2. If we evaluate it, then what do I get? At 2 to the power 5 over 5 plus 2 to the power 4 over 4. That's the evaluation at 2 minus, make sure to put parentheses, okay? Otherwise, you'll make mistake, probably. Uh, it's going to be negative 1 to the power 5 over 5 plus negative 1 to the power 4 over 4. So 2 to the power 5 is 32 over 5 plus 2 to the power 4 is 16 over 4 is 4 minus, now I'm going to put it inside a square bracket, negative 1 to the power 5 is negative 1, so that's, that's negative 1 fifth and this is going to be positive 1 plus 1 fourth, okay? So if I were to simplify it, is going to be 4 times 5 is 20 plus 30 to 52 over 5 plus 1 fifth minus 1 fourth. Okay, so 52 over 5 plus 1 fifth is 53 over 5 minus 1 fourth. Then if I simplify it, it's going to be 53 times 4 over 5 times 4 minus 1 times 5 over 4 times 5. That's going to give me a 212 minus 5 over 20 and that is going to be 217 over 20. So that's how you will find the definite integral using the fundamental theorem of calculus uh, part 2. So if you have a function that is continuous on a closed interval then finding the definite interval or definite integral becomes really easy so long you can find the antiderivative i hope that this discussion was helpful thank you very much